Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Cosmic Primordial Magi of the Bright Virtue. Happy Full Harvest Moon in Pisces. Today we are on the tenth and final day of ten galactic activation portals in a row on the Mayan Zolkin calendar with Keen 115, our beautiful blue spectral eagles, birds of freedom and peace. We are currently at four days of darkness, over 100 hours of a total blackout on the Schumann charts. We journey further into the void and stillness of infinite space and emptiness. We conjure the power of the silence of the womb of the Divine Feminine Mother guide us. The power of Pisces will help us dive deep into the waters of our emotions, our psyche and subconscious minds to uncover and recover the lost parts of ourselves that lay hidden in the shadows, to integrate, resolve and transform those pieces of fragments that held us in a separated and seemingly alone existence over many lifetimes and timelines. This is the healing process of our ascension journey together. Gaia also received today the most massive activation and release of the year with a magnitude 7.6 earthquake on the Ring of Fire in Papua New Guinea at 2346 UTC. Pachamama also manifested a trinity of powerful activations today with three major earthquakes on the Ring of Fire in Indonesia. Mother Earth had two magnitude 6.2 quakes, creating another 8.8 Lion's Gate portal activation, and in between them with a 5.9, all three occurring just south of the equator, which is the middle Dantian of Gaia, at 2.22 degrees due south of the equator. She received another 6.0 magnitude earthquake in Indonesia today at 2310 UTC, making a total of five powerful activations since the full moon portal came in. The five elements are rising up, balancing the energies of all meridians, dragon lines, and grids of the Divine Mother. The Holy Priestess spirit energetics are pulsing out from the crystalline core of Pachamama in full activation mode to light up the threefold flames within every living heart of our earth angelic starseeds of the new earth rising. Feel into the flames of our transfiguration and transformation into rainbow body ascended masters of the new Lemuria. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes. So be sure to listen to the very end and please do us a favor and share this video with our teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you watched my shorter transmission today about the praying mantis, this day of the Pisces full harvest moon. It was a very powerful and intense day. My sacred condor, my queen and I, when we awoke today, there was a haze through the lands and like an orange hue from the fires down south in Oregon and surrounding areas. The winds, I believe from the hurricane coming off the coast of California, blew a lot of that smoke up here. It's the first time this year that this has happened in this area. We're very safe and protected from these fires. And as I took our bro Thor and Sistar's beautiful dog for a walk today, a praying mantis, very sacred being, flew and landed on my shirt. And I brought her to visit my queen. It's the first time both of us have seen this sacred creature in this area. I've spent many years, many hours, and the praying mantis has always been one of my greatest allies and friends. The photo at the beginning of this transmission is this beautiful being of light. And if you stick around to the very end, I'll play a video of the interaction with this beautiful dog and this amazing creature. So we're connecting through today's transmission with our star nations of the mantids. These are very powerful healers, healing energies, powerful cultivators of chi, 
the key, the universal life force. And at the end, I'll play a video of a sweet interaction where the mantis touches the nose of this cute doggy. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 29 degrees, 6 minutes Pisces. The sun is at 18 degrees, 28 minutes Virgo. Another 8-8 activation. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 19 degrees Virgo. A swimming race. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 0 degree Pisces. A majestic rock formation resembling a face is idealized by a boy who takes it as his ideal of greatness and as he grows up begins to look like it from astrologyweekly.com and from divine sister of the light sophie gregoire an illumination is about to come and bring resolution to a long-standing issue in your life expect a magical release happy full moon from sophiegregoire.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Jennifer Catran. The greatest love story ever told is manifesting in the physical for many. Dreams do come true. Timeline jump in progress again. All new realities. Bliss codes and infinity codes in the field. Divine union within and without. Magi, grail kings and queens, take your crowns. 144,000. It always existed. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Amanda Lawrence, Way Showers. Extremely strong incoming energy started approximately one hour ago, 8.44 p.m. Mexico Central Time. The strength of energy may create a wobbly or floaty physical body effect. Just to add, these energetics are weaving vibrational patterns throughout the physical vessel, not just the crown, face, heart, root, but all limbs. This is why some may feel like they are swaying around a bit. Try to let go and relax the body so as not to resist the movements. It's natural what's happening. So allow your body its movement with the vibrations. The vibrational patterns being everywhere in the body is a huge step anticipated some years ago. Therefore, it's a major change in the right direction and why it's significant. We do need the vibrations to course throughout the body eventually, as well as more and more increases to incoming hertz frequencies. And we will get used to it as our bodies are always adjusting and integrating higher degrees of energy. All my love, Amanda Lawrence. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ra James. Happy Harvest Moon. This Pisces full moon is supercharged with the energies of the equinox. You may feel the storm is coming with this equinox too. This week's energies have been huge with Mercury shifting retrograde. The energies are going to be moving super fast through your life over the next few weeks. This harvest moon is one of the witchiest moons of the year. Manifesting and magic are in an all-time high. Today is a day for healing and working your magic. This year's harvest moon is rising and aligned with Jupiter, making it extra lucky. Expect unexpected shifts in your favor, your path moving you closer to your destiny, and serendipitous encounters. Pisces symbolizes the two fish or mer people. This Pisces full moon is helping us to tap into our connections on a deeper level, not just any connection, that twin flame connection that will last the span of many lifetimes. The dream world is really open right now too. Expect the lines to blur more and more, opening you up to more astral travel and interactions with loved ones. That goes both for the living and for the dead. The northern half of the world is shifting through the autumn equinox. Expect longer nights and gloomy weather. The southern half of the world is shifting through the spring equinox. Expect better temperatures and more sunlight. During September, our sun aligns with the galactic center. That means we are receiving a ton of galactic energies from several major star systems right now. We are getting a preview of what will come to this winter in the sky. Things are more open. During September, Orion's belt points to Sirius in the mornings. You can find them both together right before the dawn. Over the next few months, they will be shifting into the night sky. Sirius is right below Orion. We have Aldebaran and Pleiades right above Orion. 
the two brightest stars of September are also Vega and Arcturus. From SparksofDivineLightHealing.com And from Divine Brother of the Light Pars Kute, Great elemental fury is about to be unleashed. Something big is brewing and is about to be unleashed on an even greater scale than what we are witnessing now. Now we see the magnetics are falling and the frequency of light is rising. Change is coming. Earth is shifting at the point of convergence. The earth will shift and all will be changed. For all of us who have chosen to live in the higher light have known on a higher level that the old way of earth life is finished now. Yet we are aware that humanity cannot move to the next level without the parts of the old system progressively leaving the scene. And that is what we see occurring now. As humanity invests increasingly in its own honor and its own courage on its path of ascension. The old hierarchical way of life and the preference for it will fade to the point where it is barely remembered. We are pure divine source consciousness and frequency with divine love of one, Pars Kute. And from divine sister of the light, Quana Michaela. Energy update September 10th, 11th. In all linear time zones, September 10th, in those worlds, regions ahead of Europe already facing September 11th. There is a mix of incoming energies, distortions due to the lunar phase, corrupt timeline energies within collective consciousness where members of humanity are moving their attention, intentions, and actions. The bigger picture of this now, the first part of September 10th, is related with purification. The second part of September 10, 11 is related with the new energy. Dynamics of the energies are high. Dynamics of the energies are finding responses in the human physical system, various conditions, sensations you may experience, and how they are traveling through body parts. Time intervals also ahead and into September 11th in the individual level can be experienced with the body's sensitivity to all changes happening in the energy level. Just know that purification and the new energy go side by side until planetary field will be full with the fresh and new. All distorted lunar coatings present in the planetary field due to the moon phase is already 80% cleared. The speed of mentioned purification has been rapid, overall pace of everything. In very simple terms, the speed to empty the planetary field for something to come in higher is done in minutes. That's why many can feel as if all things are happening at once, plus such sensitivity and physical conditions. The new energy or something higher has arrived. It becomes felt more. It helps to transform debris. It gives helpful hand to us. It invites us to look ahead into the future now. Again, to transcend everyone's perceptions, but more importantly, to feel into the sense of something higher. You can think about it as a specific frequency and to pick it up in order to feel and to explore it through your senses. This frequency is present in this energy update. I see purity, white marble stairs in relation with this frequency surrounding and the energy is in a cosmic distance from the flat 3D or recent chaotic two years. Here we can talk about the awakening stage for the collective, about activation, about Christ consciousness embodiment purity, organic ascension trajectory. Thank you, beloved source. We are in September 2022. We must move forth. May this new energy give us strength and trust. Together we are creating the path. Quana Michaela. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D., Full Moon Energy, September 10, 2022. Dear friends, this weekend, riding on top of the Mercury retrograde wave, will arrive the full moon energies. This time, the moon will be reflecting the energies of Pisces. These two cosmic events unfolding back to back could create a strong energy wave that is likely to feel scattering, chaotic, and confusing. We may feel unsettled in our being or unsure of how to proceed ahead. But this full moon is not about trying to intellectually understand your life. It's more related to feeling, listening within your body, and working with your own intuitive flow. 
It's going to be a weekend for letting go of any mental chatter and trying to understand and make sense of things, and instead we are being asked to move into the space led by our sacred heart. Maybe the answers or directions you are seeking won't come from thinking things through, but from feeling things through. Pay attention to the answers and signs that may appear in your reality, as they are merely reflections of the truths that already reside within yourself. This Pisces full moon also carries energy that helps to thin the spiritual veil, allowing us to access our intuition, higher self, and divine guides communication with greater ease. We all have the natural ability to connect with the divine. Simply set an intention from the heart and trust that you have been heard. All answers will come, of course, in divine timing. May this weekend's full moon energy enlighten your heart with insights to create positive changes in your life. Let's break through our past emotional limitations and bring exciting new opportunities for a refreshing change in direction. Much love from DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Karen Lithica Energetic Update, The Arcturians we ask you to close your eyes, feel into the energetic presence of now. This moment of self-creation is truly a wonderful gift as you align your light to the pulsation of now. To see this moment eternally transforming as you ride the light waves of rapid transformation. We ask you to pay close attention to your light body, physical light cues. For global changes in your world are moments of crystalline uprising for the awakened souls. For the change of a pivotal leader is an energetic change in your world. As the crystalline dynamics coupled with physical dynamics open in this moment of change. For the consciousness of your world is a crystalline tapestry of light. As the higher light codes continue to join in unison. It is simply the expansion of this new light code resonating in your world. See the current opportunity to expand this light consciousness. Connect with light-minded souls and pave the way for unity of light. Be conscious of the energetic frequencies within, above, and around you, the global narrative of light. Simply navigate your light field to assist the planetary consciousness of now. Place your hands on the earth, connect to a tree. Simply harmonize with the natural energies of your world. Connect to the crystalline light consciousness of the collective, sending waves of cosmic light to assist your light mission. The Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA. Gene Key 47, September 10th, 2022 through September 16th, 2022. Oppression, transmutation, transfiguration. When we turn inwards and meet it as a seed before it externalizes, then our awareness can disable and transmute it before it manifests. This is why it's said that our meditation, awareness, breathing, or presence can burn off karma. This is the great mystery of alchemy, and we have to own the shadow we carry, even though it's not really us at all, it just comes with the vehicle. This 47th gene key really captures the essence of the transformational journey through the frequency bands so profoundly. Every shadow contains a gift. The gift of transmutation occurs more and more as we enter into the present moment more fully. The 64 Ways, and from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change, Hexagram 47, Oppression, the lake is drained of all water, remembering the precious gift of life even when facing the darkest hour. Transfiguration is the bliss of devotion, transmutation is vitality and commitment, oppression is dissatisfied half-heartedness, elation and communication. Thus, the superior man will sacrifice his life to attain his purpose. The bottom line is that our oppression, the particular nuances and flavors of our suffering and karma during this lifetime, are exactly equivalent to the greatness of our inner light. Their purpose is to awaken that light. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, from GeneKeys.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Hoffman, 
Are you ready for the next energy blast? We have a full moon today. You probably felt its energy last night. And Mercury is officially retrograde and is very strong with this retrograde. The spiritual initiation is here. In the September energy report, I described this month as a spiritual pilgrimage and we're fully on that path. Listen to the voices of your angels and spirit guides. They have guidance and support for you. Watch for signs and confirmation of your path. Don't ignore them or think they do not apply to you. Let go of the people who want to let go of you. Have you ever asked them if they wanted to be connected to you on your terms? Create moments of joy. We wait until the big happy days to celebrate when we need to have daily joy celebrations. And remember to celebrate yourself. We're fully committed to this journey now. There is no getting off of this train. Shine on. We may be moving towards an unknown future, but we have plenty of light to show us the way. From EnlighteningLife.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Natalia Alba, Beloved Ones, We are passing through a very harmonic but at the same time conclusive portal. This invites us to revise what we have created, ending cycles that are not meant to coexist with the new ones that we are giving birth to. Yesterday, a 9-9 day invited us to release the baggage that we do not have to carry anymore, closing old doors that led us to nowhere and opening new ones that will conduct us to wonderful new experiences. Today, a full moon at 17 degrees Pisces confirms that we are already experiencing within an inner transformation that will help us rebirth into who we are meant to be, a shift that comes with the assistance of Uranus, the change maker, as it sextiles it, which helps us to put an end to anything that is not serving our personal growth and healing journey. The 9-9 frequency we just had and that continues among us from yesterday supports Piscean energies, helping us to remove from our bodies and physical lives what is obsolete and does not feed our soul. Number 9 is precisely represented in the tarot by the hermit. Just when Mercury, for those who believe in retrogrades, is in slow motion, these frequencies give us the message to be wise, move inward, and like the hermit, focus on our inner light, truth, to walk among the shadows until we reach the new shore, using only our inner light as the only compass to navigate through our current reality. For we need nothing more to be able to discern which way is aligned with our true self and which one does not serve any longer. Number 9, together with Pisces and Uranus's influence, indicates transformations, endings, and hence new beginnings with the following transfiguration that comes when we awaken our consciousness and pass from a lower state of being into a higher one. Piscean is precisely the last sign of the zodiac. As you know, Pisces rules intuition, compassion, and devotion to service which is more emphasized by Neptune as it conjuncts the moon. With Pisces comes freedom and the completion of a cycle, in both the micro and the macro, as it also is happening on the planet. With Pisces, the last sign of the zodiac, endings come and hence new beginnings, for there is a moment in which both coexist at the same time. It is precisely from this timeless and spaceless moment that we have the opportunity to create a new phase or to get attached to an old timeline. It is with Pisces that we begin to remember our true origins, clear karmic patterns, agreements, purify ourselves, and achieve personal enlightenment. It is with Pisces that we learn how to merge opposites, our mother-father feminine and father-masculine aspects, and how to finally ascend after having passed through the rest of the zodiac signs, carrying all its wisdom from all these past experiences. When we reach this stage, we already hold the proper wisdom required for us to leave all behind and step into a new state of being. With this moon, many will begin to contemplate a new life, choosing to no longer look back on what can no longer be energetically sustained. This is a time when many are beginning a new physical journey to a new desired destination. Others may already be ending a cycle of pain, entering into a more harmonic state of being. We all have our unique way to leave an old stage and cross this new harmonic portal. 
As I always say, we are forever ending, beginning anew with this eternal cosmic spiral. For we never end. On the contrary, we are just beginning to discover the many realms that exist within creation and its infinite wisdom. This is where we are during this month of September in a place of rejuvenation and renewal for us to be purified and with a higher clarity on our new path. And even if the path of solitude is not always easy, it is essential to listen to our inner divine guidance before giving birth to this new reality in which we have already a higher aspect of us dwelling in it. We find ourselves at the moment on a path of constant integration of the wisdom that our soul holds within and that we continue decoding as we evolve step by step, a process of wisdom embodiment that requires time for us to rest, heal, and clear ourselves so we can continue with this endless process. I wish you a loving and healing passage, beloveds. May all you create be in perfect alignment with your soul's illumined path. With infinite love, Natalia Alba, StarseedSoul.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah, White Horse, Full Moon in Pisces, Mercury stations retrograde in Libra. At the peak of the lunar cycle, the moon drifts close to Neptune, ruler of this lunation. This is an emotional high tide, disorienting, perplexing, confusing. With the light square to Mars, jagged thoughts and commentary create the vision inwardly and outwardly. The mind feels split and there is emotional and psychic overload. Ripples in the ether spread out in all directions, which to follow, where to go, what to say. A key concern of this moon is to know when to speak up and when to stay silent. For some, there is deep grief, great sacrifice, and mourning. For others, it's a loss of meaning, a listless defeatism. For all, this is a time of quiet surrender, grace under pressure. Neptune knows our tears, for every drop finds its way to the ocean. Find your peace with what is. Everything is connected. Call upon your guardians and guides if you feel vulnerable. Don't let your imagination run away with you. Mercury's station also feels like we're spinning our wheels, going nowhere, but sometimes we need to stand still, especially when we're lost in the fog. Relax. Listen to your inner voice. Soon direction will come. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 115, Blue Spectral Eagle. Spectral is the name for the number 11 and its keywords are liberate, dissolve, and release. Today is the last portal day, the tenth one in a row. It's been quite a wild ride, but today we release. The eleventh day is always the challenge to the wave spell, and we're in the red serpent wave spell, and eagle is the opposite of serpent. In a sense, the eleventh day liberates us from the thirteen-day journey we've been on, which is much-needed respite. If you are a blue eagle, you'll be let out of your cage today to fly free. Today is the blue eagle which represents creativity, vision, and mind. The eagle sees the bigger picture, and with these visions, he finds creative solutions to the issues he has seen from up high. As it is a number 11 day, we are liberated by creativity or released by visions. Creative endeavors have been a struggle lately as the eagle has been this wave spell's challenge. If you are an eagle, or if it is your guide or occult power, you would have been having a tougher time than most lately. But for everybody, today is a great day to get creative and feel free, fly high, and hopefully have some visions. The guide today is also Blue Eagle, and so a double helping of eagle medicine. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Spectral Eagle, 11 Main, Keen 115, 10th of September 2022, Liberating the Planetary Vision. Galactic Activation Portal Day Number 10. 10-9-2022 10, equal 10-9-6 equal 115 equal 16 equal 7. Day Codes 10 Manifestation Power Authority. One New Beginnings Leader Independent Original. 7 Magic Mystic Spiritual Initiation Test Solitude. Month Year Codes 9 Completion Service Destiny Divine Humanity Grace. 15 Spiritual Alchemy Charisma Magnetism. 
six heaven christ family harmony fertility keen one one five equals seven mystic magic spiritual solitude seven seven double magician code another powerful gap day supporting our planetary liberation of our most highest utopian vision news flash day ten galactic activation portal day today is the last of the ten successive gap days time for a reprieve after our two remaining serpent days we made it out of the dark birth tunnel take a big breath of our new frequency another very magical extraordinary day on planet earth day eleven and the red serpent wave spell of survival instinct kundalini rising life force passion and rapid transformation through shedding our old skin two more days to complete this intense wave spell cycle today we release all the life force we have built up over the last ten days expanding into the future with our far-seeing inner vision and liberating the best possible future scenario that we can collectively imagine yesterday we enchanted it and today we are liberating our greatest vision tone of creation spectral is the eleventh tone of creation and operates in the emotional realm and its actions are that of dissolving releasing and liberating this is a very powerful opportunity to release the past and move forward fearlessly free from obstructions the spectral action together with kimi works to bring closure dissolving all impediments to you finally claiming your true power and then allowing the love peace and abundance to flow as we build the new this amazing blue spectral eagle daily truly liberates all the life force generated over the past ten days of galactic activation portals where we integrated divine energies from dimensions beyond our awareness what an ecstatic climax full kundalini awakening through our rebirth can you feel it beautiful star bliss suns this red serpent cycle really did deliver the most tremendous planetary shift ever gaia has truly shed her old skin now and so have we planetary ascension here we come today's questions are what greater vision am i liberating and releasing into the world in order to see it a better future collectively what is the greatest vision for our planet that we can liberate and birth today divine blessings for the liberation and creation of our utopian 5d vision a whole planetary keen another wondrous day in la catch a la keen christina white magnetic world bridger keen 66 keen 115 blue spectral eagle the mantra the code for today is I dissolve in order to create, releasing mind. I seal the output of vision. With the spectral tone of liberation, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're seeing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Rosie Futures, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to help contribute and support our work and mission, you can do so with a monthly pledge on Patreon at whitegoldeagle.com, or if you'd like to send a one-time donation to our PayPal account, the links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful codes from Cosmic Astral Insights, number 1697. Faces of darkness are fully exposed. 
horizons become more visible to all. Specific knowledge reaches the masses. Destabilization of all control systems is happening at 68% non-regressive at this momentum. Immediate replacement is rotation of light bearers is. Climatologists are exposed in occurrence right now. The foundations of light continue to expand. Stars remove the non-volunteers. Timeline lettering still stand firm. Houses are drilled and completed. Unmutable, be alert. Galactics remind all inhabitants of Gaia that light is your home. Stellar borders connect advanced. Inner gift complement is appreciated. God is love. Silence flowers are strengthened. Superior messages come seasoned with joy. God's love is infinite. Freedom flows when the inner lights are alive. Spontaneous serenities of light trust the masses. Light fairies calm the day. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed sacred full moon in Pisces and a powerful 9-11 portal tomorrow while we stay in our heart center being connected to all things and all timelines and dimensions as real human beings of the new earth, homo luminous. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.